Paul, Silas, and Timothy traveled along the Via Ignatia from Philippi, which is about 90 miles, until they came here to Thessalonica. Thessalonica was a very old city. It was originally named for the half-sister of Alexander the Great. It was established as the head of the colony of Macedonia by the Romans in 146 BC. Thessalonica is a very important place in history. It was close to the birthplace in Pella of Alexander the Great. And so at one time, it was the capital of the Macedonian Empire. In fact, if you visit here today, you can see the actual tomb of Alexander's father, Philip II, who's buried not far from here. It's also the capital city where Alexander began his worldwide conquest, and as a result, spread the Greek culture. That's why our New Testament is in Greek today, because he spread the Greek language all around the world. Well, Paul came here and preached the gospel. It was a large enough city that it had a polytarch, which was a magistrate. Those people ruled this city in the, under the power of the Romans. There was a Jewish colony here, community, and they had a synagogue. So when Paul came, he preached and shared the gospel for three Sabbaths in the synagogue. And some of the Jewish people in that synagogue, as well as leading Greek citizens and leading Greek women, became followers of the way of Jesus Christ. Well, this caused some jealousy among other Jewish believers, and so they went into the Agora, which was the marketplace, where a lot of people would hang out. They said, these are the guys who have caused problems all around the Roman world. In fact, it says in the Bible, they have turned the world upside down, and now they have come here. They couldn't find Paul to punish him, so they found Jason, who was a probably Jewish believer who had become a follower of Jesus, and they forced him to go before the magistrate. But the magistrate refused to get involved in the situation, thinking that it was just a fight between Jewish people, so he forced Jason to uh, post bail and then let him go. Paul had to leave here, leaving behind Timothy and Silas. But later, Timothy and Silas joined him in Athens. Well, Paul was so upset about having to leave the Thessalonian believers who were just new in the faith, that he sent Timothy back. He was so worried that they would not have uh, a strong enough faith to resist the persecution. But when Timothy returned, he said, oh, everything is going well for them. And so he wrote the letter of 1 Thessalonians back to the people here. He said to them, as apostles of Christ, we could have been a burden to you, but we were gentle among you, like a mother caring for her own little children. We loved you so much that we were delighted to share with you not only the gospel of God, but our lives as well, because you have become so dear to us. In this letter, Paul writes about the second coming of Christ. He tells them to live a life that is holy and pure, and he tells them to look forward to the coming of Jesus, and also when he will return to be with them again. Paul wrote the second letter to the Thessalonians, and later Paul made some visits here as well. Paul loved the believers in Thessalonica. He shared the good news about Jesus by sharing his life with them. We must be gentle, compassionate, and caring, just as he was. In those tumultuous times, he also shared a message of hope. Jesus is coming again to make all things right. The Thessalonians shared this good news all over Macedonia. Like Alexander the Great, a movement spread from here to the rest of the world, but this time it was a gentle message of hope.